Hey everybody, Chef Jana here, welcome back. Today I'm gonna make my favorite comfort food. I'm going to make um, chickpea curry or a chana masala. It's a very good food whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I'm, whenever I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a cuddle, that's the food that I make. Well, I have a little bit of oil in here, regular vegetable oil, nothing fancy. And we're going to prick this little chili here. And the reason why we prick it, it's because we don't want it to explode. So we add it to the oil, let it fry a little bit. Twist it and turn it. And you see it's gonna get a little bit brown and blistered. Don't let it burn. The reason why we're gonna do that is just because we want to infuse the oil with those, um, not, not hotness, but those, those delicate flavors that the chili has. And that's it. I'm gonna keep it because I might use it for garnishing later. Now, we're going to use a little bit of cumin or jeera, as the Indians say and mustard seeds. Careful because the mustard seeds, they're going to pop all over the place. Let me change that. Careful not to burn again because you can't do anything with your dish if the spices are burned. When you start to smell that, the aromatics, it's time to add the onions. In with the onions. Smells a little bit like popcorn in here. Funny. Here. And that's it. You chop the onions as finely or as roughly as you want. But I like it a little bit bigger because this is a vegetable dish. The vegetables are the star here. So I like to feel those bigger chunks. So you have something else to chew on other than stew that the curry has. It is smelling like paradise. I keep saying that in all my videos, but guys, seriously, one day they're going to invent a gadget which will transport the smell into people's houses. I'm gonna be the first one to buy because seriously, I don't know about you, but sometimes I am watching those cooking shows. I love the ones on YouTube. And then I'm like, God, I would give anything to be able to smell that because I know it's gonna be smelling like paradise. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna wait a little bit, something around three minutes, so the, cook, the um, onions cook through. Careful not to burn it. And um, again, I like the onions a little bit light golden, not golden brown, because I want them to um, get a little bit firmer, trans, uh, translucent of course, cooked, but a little bit on the firm side. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, see, all the flavors are happening here. I can smell all those spices that we already added. Now, it's the time to add the chili. You can add as little or as much as you want. I like my food very hot, so but not everybody that I'm serving the food today are going to like the food so hot. So I went a little bit like easy on the chili. But if it was up to me, a lot. You know, chilies are natural thermogenics. They make your metabolism speed up. And this way, make you lose weight. Yeah, that's a good thing. Chilies. All right. Now we add the garlic. Oh, Chef Jana, why use your hands? Because your hands are your best tools. I heard that in the cooking school so many times. I had a, an instructor, a teacher, he was fantastic. Every time we were mixing stuff with, um, for example, if we were making some sort of a dough or something, he's like, why are you wasting time using a spoon or something like that? Use your fingers, they're your best tool. 
and it's true. A little bit of ginger. I don't have, um, how do you call it, natural. I don't have any uh, fresh ginger. So I'm using the powder one, no fuss. Fenugreek, very important. A little bit of asafetida. Now guys, be very careful with the turmeric. Although I know it's what gives the curry that yellow curry signature color, but if you add too much, you're gonna feel that uh, chalky taste in your tongue. And if you feel that, it's because you added way too much turmeric. So for this dish, half a teaspoon is more than enough. No need to go crazy. All right, and our tomato. Now, tomatoes are in. Um, well, can I use fresh tomatoes? By all means, please do, because in India, that's what they do. They don't peel the tomatoes, they don't seed the tomatoes, they don't de-seed the tomatoes. What they use is just uh, regular tomatoes. But I didn't have any, again, so use what you have in your pantry, in your fridge. Oh, it's very interesting. It's getting on the back of my throat. A little bit of curry curry powder and that's it now we're gonna let it cook for about three four minutes keep an eye on it because you don't want it to scorch it's not good when it happens lower the heat this is like very medium low and that's it well now that everything has cooked through, the tomatoes are um, cooked, the onions were already cooked, we add the chickpeas. I'm using cooked chickpeas. You can always use um, your own raw chickpeas, but of course you're going to have to cook them first. Again. I want it to be easy and I didn't want to have much time. I didn't have much time in advance to cook the chickpeas, so I'm using the canned ones. It won't make much of a difference. Well, the chickpeas are in. We're going to let it cook for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes in low heat, medium-low heat. Keep an eye on it. You can add a little bit of water and that's exactly what I'm going to do actually because they're a little bit dry. I don't want them dry. I like my curry a little bit moist. Not soupy, but moist. Yes, perfect. Now you're talking. We're gonna let, let it cook for, like I said, about five, 10 minutes, depending on uh, how much of in a hurry you are. Uh, one thing about uh, stews, curries, although they're simple dishes, I think it's worth to let it cook a little bit more because that's what this dish is about. All the flavors mixing up together, blending, and the chickpeas absorbing all this delicious, rich stew. So I think it's worth it to let it cook for a little bit more than you normally would. Can you make it in a hurry? Yes, yes, you can. But the taste will be different, definitely. So let it cook a little bit more. Let's get the lid and wait a little bit more. All right, it has been cooking for about 12 minutes now. I have stirred a little bit. Yes. Now it's time to put our coconut milk. You can skip that part if you don't like coconut milk. I particularly, I love because it balances out. Sometimes of, um, uh, it balances out the hotness and it balances out any acidity that the the tomatoes might have. I'm using canned tomatoes so it won't make that much of a difference, but coconut milk is a no to make comfort food thing. I don't know why I love it. Sometimes I make rice 
and I put coconut milk in it at the end. It's just like it changed your whole world of the rice and yours as well. So, it is beautiful. I'm getting excited. I can't wait to eat this. Ah, very nice. While it's cooking, you don't want the coconut milk to cook. It won't taste good. It will change completely. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to chop a little bit of, um, um, how do you call this? I forgot that. Coriander or cilantro, depending on where you live. And our dish is ready. It was not in five minutes because I didn't want it to be in five minutes. It could, but coriander is in. Don't let it cook through. It's not going to taste good again. We need it to be a little bit fresh because it's hot and it's spicy and it's fantastic. And it's ready. And the most important ingredient in this dish is right before serving, a big teaspoon of garam masala. The garam masala will bring all the flavors together and give a little bit more of a vibrancy to the dish. It's really important right before serving. You don't need to cook it. You don't actually have to, but it's very important. Look at these. Seriously. Can you see it? My God, it is fantastic. A little bit more coriander. And of course, I made it for later, but I'm gonna have to test it for you guys. Oh my God. That's exactly what I wanted. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click on the little circle on the top so I can teach you a little bit more about masalas. I had made a long post about the five main uh, most important masalas that we use in the Western cuisine, and I have all the recipes there. So click on that button, go to the blog, and read about masalas. And thanks for watching. Bye!